tells us in the first letter to the Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. In this beautiful passage, we find three very important points. Number one, we're called to unity. Number two, the spirit is a living spirit. And number three, we're all important. We're called to unity, to be a part of one body, the church. Each one of us through the Holy Spirit in our baptism has received endless gifts that are intended to build the church. We're called to form the body of Christ and give it life. The Spirit is a living Spirit. The body of Christ cannot be a static body. Let the Spirit move in each one of us to be a living church that moves forward, that heals, that grows, that falls and rises, that is renewed and that continually seeks holiness. Each one of us has a place in the body of Christ. We're all important and we are all needed. Each one of us has a variety of gifts that are useful and necessary to continue growing and advancing as a church. Everything we do or stop doing has an impact that not only affects us personally, but also everyone around us. Understanding that we are a part of the same body, it's extremely important. So I ask you this, as a member of this body, are you a factor of division or unity? How do you allow the spirit and gifts received to manifest through you for the edification of the church? Are you a static or a dynamic member? I encourage you to take a few minutes to reflect on these questions and take the necessary commitment to achieve being one body with a living spirit that recognizes the value in each member and that together continues to move forward towards holiness. Thank you.